Good morning, you guys. This is me, Abhilasha, your favorite VRC mentor, and I am back again with one more episode of your favorite Hindu reading comprehension. Oh, today is Aeon, so we do Hindu and Aeon RCs alternately. So one day we do Hindu, one day do we do Aeon. Yesterday was Hindu. Today is Aeon RC. Very interesting article that I have got today. Let me quickly check if I am live. Oh, I am. Wonderful. So just makes me very happy to see that I'm live and it's streaming. All right, let's get started with the announcements for the day. Remember to use Abhikat Live to unlock all your free classes and to subscribe to our plus and iconic courses, guys. Free class is happening at 3 p.m. Uh, every day now. I have changed the time a little bit. We are uh, now doing an excellence batch uh, where we will be doing free classes for CAT every day from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So my class will be from 3 to 4. I'm taking up reading comprehension. Devinder sir will be taking up quants from 4 to 5. From 5 to 6, uh, Dipanshu sir will be taking up LRDI. And from 6 to 7, uh, Divya ma'am will be taking up uh, 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 VA plus GK. So that is how we have broken this up. Do make sure you are coming in during this time and taking your free classes. So my session happens at 3 p.m. every day. Do join in guys. Okay. All right. Open house is also happening. Yesterday also we did an open house. So we might as well do an open house tonight also. I will send you the link later. I haven't yet framed the class. New batches, you know that the next new batch for advanced learners is coming up tomorrow. And we will talk a little bit about that also. Here it is. Amazingly, we've got a batch coming up. Aim for CAT 22 and OMETS 9.0. A very advanced batch for all my advanced learners. Timing is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So guys, do join in. I'm going to be covering para-based questions for all my CAT advanced students. Okay, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Like you said, I have shifted the time from 6.30 to 5. So do make sure you're joining in everyone. And of course, we've got the Aspire batch with our amazing educators. My friends are very good. So please make sure that you're joining. You can enroll on an academy using Abhi Cat Life. All right, Iconic. There are many, many benefits of the Iconic course and let's take a minute and talk about it. You get personal guidance where there is live doubt solving sessions with subject experts. You get a study planner, so you get a customized study plan. There is one-to-one -one live mentoring, guys, so you get to talk to your mentor. There is test analysis, one-to-one -one guidance and there is expert guidance, so study booster workshops by, your, by our experts. So along with live classes, weekly test, study material, unlimited access and structured courses, you will have so much to, you know, go for if you buy an iconic subscription, guys. The iconic subscription is uh, 6 months, 12 months and 24 months. There is a huge off. If you buy a 24 month subscription, you will get a 42% off and it will cost you only 59999 Anyway, so that's a bit about iconic. R plus courses are also available and again, huge off is going on 20% on a 6 month, 12 months with 45%, 18 months with 54% and 60 months. 24 months per 60 percent guys do not buy a six month subscription that's very unfair on yourself you don't prepare properly do buy a 12 month subscription if you are buying and remember to use abhi cat life the unacademy cat scholarship test like we said we've had it for the last two weekends 26 ko kiya tha six ko kiya tha ab 13th ko last test hai guys if you really want to win that macbook air or the airpod or the iphone or the boat smart watches or the 10,000 rupees voucher Please write the test. Do make sure you're writing the test and take your scholarship away. 6 p.m., 30 questions, 60 minutes, 13th of February. Abhi Cat Live is the code. Our Ask a Doubt feature you know is live on our website also. You can ask up to three doubts and use your favorite language to get the solutions delivered in. So do make sure you're asking all your doubts. It's not just for your enrolled students, it for, it's for everyone. All right, our work starts now. You know that every day within an RC, we discuss words and then we discuss our RC. Just yesterday, I was speaking to Shabana ma'am and she really appreciated that. She said that it makes a lot of sense for us to do the words first and then, 
एंड आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी दैट मैं जो पढ़ा रही हूँ वो उनको अच्छा लग रहा है तो मुझे बड़ा मजा आया ये सुन करके बट एनी वे सो आई होप यू आर टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ ऑल दर्ड दैट वी डिस्कस एंड देन यूज इट टू रीड एंड अंडरस्टैंड आर आर्टिकल बेटर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो सिमेंटिक्स मीन्स द मीनिंग्स ऑफ वर्ड्स सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सिमेंटिक्स दैट इज नेसेसरी सो मीनिंग्स ऑफ द वर्ड एकोलॉजिकल रिलेटेड टू द एकोलॉजी और द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ अ सर्टन प्लेस so that's ecological continuum is changes in character something that changes in character gradually so when i have this now this is moving on a continuum so it is moving continuously going up or down very gradual change that's called continuum radically means completely or extremely so radical change would be i am here today and i am here tomorrow now that's a radical change you understand trade off balancing of factors so there is a trade off in so many things when <clears throat> one country works with another country they have trade offs i will give you certain things you will give me certain things for example us said hey we are going to ignore india and iran relations if we are going to go ahead with lots more you know so there was a trade off they said okay we will not sign put a sanction on you buying that uh, s400 missile defense system from russia but we will do some other things so there was a trade off there was some sort of a negotiation both parties gave some took some that's called a trade off forage of course means to hunt so hunters jo hote hain wo foraging karte hain jangal mein jate hain khojte hain khane ke liye cheeze that stakeholder of course means an owner somebody who's a stakeholder we are all stakeholders in this democracy so go out and vote guys don't wait for anyone so you are a stakeholder entails of course something entails something it involves something illustrated shows so this is very beautifully illustrated here shown here visible here apparent here intervention becoming intentionally involved in a difficult situation so hundreds and thousands of times un has tried to intervene in the kashmir issue and india has very categorically said it is an internal matter or it's a matter between two countries un should not get involved that's an intervention trying to deliberately get involved in a difficult tricky situation spectrum of course we understand is a range spectrum of colors hote hain seven colors hote hain violet se lekar ke aur red tak so that's with your spectrum of colors dimensions of course measurement dimensions of this room where i put up the studio were very big it was 400 a square feet 40 by 10 or something like that so that's what is the dimension of a particular room the measurement the size so those are our words for the day guys all right let's take a look at our article very interesting article uh, somebody is talking about restoration of the ecology and i like that article so i picked it up you can pick it up from the aon essays it is right at the top something to do with savannas and the ecology okay all right let's get started so before diving in further diving in means jumping into the issue before explaining further before discussing further i need to clarify a semantic issue so he wants to give you the meaning of a particular word what i've described so far on my own land is ecological restoration so the author has done ecological restoration the goal of which is faithful recovery of a site's historic natural state and species सो so, जो नेचुरल स्टेट और नेचुरल स्पीशीज का रेस्टोरेशन है उसे कहते हैं एकोलॉजिकल रेस्टोरेशन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हा इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट द यू एन डिक्लेयर दिस अ डेकेड फॉर इको सिस्टम रेस्टोरेशन नाउ पे अटेंशन द यू एन हैज डिक्लेयर दिस डेकेड फॉर एज अ डेकेड फॉर इको सिस्टम रेस्टोरेशन नाउ वॉट इज एन इको सिस्टम इट इज द एंटायर सम टोटल ऑफ एवरीथिंग so it is defined as the process of halting and reversing degradation resulting in improved ecosystem services and recovered biodiversity so the un is not just trying to you know uh, improve the ecology it is trying to correct the ecosystem तो सारे फैक्टर्स को कंसिडर करके सारी चीजों को रिस्टोर करने की कोशिश करना दैट इज इको सिस्टम रेस्टोरेशन दैट्स व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इन दिस डेकेड एज अनाउंस्ड बाय द यूएन 
ecosystem restoration encompasses a wide continuum of practices depending on local conditions and societal choices so we are trying to restore the ecosystem that means you will take care of you will consider the society what the local habitat is what the local flora and fauna is and then try and make sure that it is restored things go back to natural forests have plants in them lakes have water in them jungles have animals in them that's ecosystem restoration my ecological restoration represents only a small portion of that wide spectrum of possible ecosystem restoration options so the author is doing a very small portion of it that is just the ecological uh, restoration most of it aim to recover the productivity of the degraded farmland so all eco ecosystem restoration tries to improve the farmland make it better many have little to do with the idea of a historic natural state so ecosystem restoration does not really have much to do with uh, bringing back the historic natural state of a place just wants to improve it this emphasize emphasis on agro ecosystem restoration aligns with the un sustainable development goals so un does have sustainable development goals which focus on the well being of earth's nearly 9 billion people so we are trying to focus on the well being of all these people as on global scale so on the local so just like on the global scale similarly on the local my neighbors land uses radically differ from mine but also qualify as ecosystem restoration so his neighbors are also doing ecosystem restoration but in a different manner rather than restoring pine savanna so they're not restoring pine savanna that means they're not doing ecological restoration they are restoring the regulating supporting and provisioning services on which humanity depends so they're doing a lot of other things like regulate support and provision services such as climate regulation nutrient cycling and food production respectively so his neighbors are focusing on different things again all of those are important i could add to this list that successful ecosystem restoration should enhance ecological integrity and increase resilience but i'm already suffering from a creeping sense of vagueness so he says that i can add this but now it is becoming very vague what is clear is that many different sorts of interventions qualify as restoration so many types of involvement can be called as restoration it doesn't have to be what the author is saying only at least compared with overgrazing and the all too common land fate in florida suburban suburban sprawl so instead of going in for you know building cities and all of that and overgrazing it's better to restore your water restore your nutrients restore your land whichever way you're doing if we accept that the goals of ecosystem restoration can range from enhanced human livelihoods to recovered biodiversity then we also have to accept that there will be deep disagreements about the appropriateness of various alternatives so of course everyone is going to say this is my alternative it's better it's your alternative it's better we have to understand we have to agree to disagree on this given that management for something generally necessitates management against something else so if you're managing something you're going to be managing against something else also there are trade offs associated with whatever restoration approach is employed so like we said there is going to be some negotiation someone will give someone will take there is a trade off but how should the relative merits of different restoration initiatives be assessed so how do you say which is better which is worse based on based on what criteria what is the criteria which is going to say hey this is a better one that's a better one or that's a worse one by whom who decides that my neighbors and their land use decisions provide an example of a graphical approach to addressing this these questions so the author and his neighbors all have different types of uses and different types of restoration they are doing and everybody is doing something else and yet all of them are doing some sort of ecosystem restoration clearly there isn't just one easy route back for hard used land such as overgrazed floridian savanna to a natural state or even to restored functionality so it is not easy to bring back a jungle back to its original position it won't be that easy 
since what we mean by natural and functionality varies among stakeholders. So everybody will say natural is different and functional is different also. Nevertheless, if each of the land uses just described qualifies as ecosystem restoration and each delivers different values and entails different trade-offs. So if there are many, many ways, then they should, should they be illustrated so that these trade-offs are evident. So we want to show them so that we understand that, hey, here is something I have done, but I have not done this. In trashed landscapes and elsewhere where landscape has been destroyed, any management intervention, including doing nothing, has winners and losers among species. So any type of an intervention when you in interfere in, the, uh, in nature, you may not be doing anything also. That will have some winners, some losers among the species. So some species are going to die out, some species are going to survive. That's the rule of the land as well as among ecological processes. So also ecological processes will, some will win, some will lose out, functions and services. Furthermore, now the word furthermore guys remember means one more thing is coming up. There is no single spectrum that runs from degraded to natural for us to measure these landscapes against. So there is not a single spectrum that says here is bad, here is good and now where are you? So we need to score restoration interventions on values foundational to ecosystem restoration in multiple dimensions. So we will have to plot if we are saying, hey, here is something I have done and you have to have a, let's say, a, a, a 3D grid where you are putting this restoration <laughs> against other things. So it cannot be a two dimensional grid and you place something there. There are so many factors to consider. Alright, I hope you like this article guys. So it was very interesting. Ecological restoration, ecosystem restoration. These are things that we in India need to think about. Our elephants are dying. We only have 800 wild elephants now in India. And a country that was full of elephants. Huh? I'm sure it is 800 if I'm not mistaken. Or, or maybe it is 8,000. You can check this out. Check out how many elephants do we have alive in India living in the wilds. That Maybe that's your task. We need to make sure that our animals stay. We need to make sure our plants stay. Our swallows and sparrows have come back due thanks to COVID. Let's hope they stay. Okay. Here's your first question. Which of the following is the purpose of the passage? To explain that restoration of land may take different forms, to discuss the fear of not attaining SDGs, to excoriate ecological damage or to define ecological restoration. Good morning my boys and girls. I hope everybody has liked the session. Archit, good morning. Aman, Yogesh, Anushka, Ankit, Shruti, Siddharth, Eshvi, Amisha, Garima, Exner, Preeti. Sanskar, Sharanya, Gaurav, Siddharth, Rishab, Rohit, Shruti, Malay Ranjan, Land of Dreams. Uh, Alright, I started getting my answers in. I'm so happy, guys. And Ankit, Priya, Rishab, good morning, you guys. Lovely to have all of you in class here today. Let's get your answers in. So what is the purpose of the passage? Is it to discuss the fear of not attaining SDGs? Hey, we were not talking specifically of attaining the SDGs. So let us cross this out. To excoriate ecological damage. But was the writer really trying to uh, excoriate ecological damage? He was not talking about the damage. He was more talking about the restoration. So let us eliminate that. To define ecological restoration. But was that really all he did? No. So this is one part of what he did. He defined, yes, what is ecological restoration. But he also defined what is ecosystem restoration. So not just one of it, he did both. So can I really say that D will be the correct answer? No. So to explain that restoration of land may take different forms. So you may go for ecological restoration, you may go for ecosystem restoration, you may go for other types, nutrient uh, restoration, water restoration and so many other types of things that you can do. So the best answer here will be A guys. Okay, I am seeing some A's. So Ashvi has given an A, Sharanya has given an uh, uh, A, Yogesh, Anushka, Amisha, Rohit, 
Garima, I have got some A's. Exner, very good, you guys. All those who got A, wonderful. Uh, if you missed out and you got D, hey, you were still there. So, D was a part of what we were talking. Only the broader context you have missed out. All right, let's look at our next question, guys. So, which of these is to be inferred from the passage and accept that? Find your answer. Good morning, everyone. Please remember to hit the like button. You know that your likes make my day. So, sablo, please like zarur kar dena. Morning, Varun. How are you? So, ecology and ecosystem are two sides, sorry, not two-sided, but two sides of the same coin. It is important to remain true to the species of a land. Restoration of land may be done in many ways and disagreement over types of restoration should not occur. Come on, which of these can we infer? All of you, please make sure you like the session and also if you like it, maybe you can share it with your friends and family because reading comprehension is something that will help everyone. Also, we are doing in the exclusive batch at 3 p.m. I am doing reading comprehension. So, if you want to do some free reading comprehension practice, come and join me there. 3 p.m. The links are in the class. Good morning, impossible aim makers. All uh, right, I've got my answers here. Ecology and ecosystem are two sides of the same coin, correct? Inferred, so cannot be my answer. It is important to remain true to the species of a land. The author definitely said that, right? So, inferred cannot be the right answer. Restoration of land may be done in many ways. Yes, inferred and cannot be my right answer. So, let's take a look. Disagreement over types of restoration should not occur. But the author has said that they may be occurring. So, this is something that the author is not saying. This is exactly the opposite of what the author has said. Therefore, correct answer D. And I do see a lot of Ds here. Ek dam bhar bhar ke D hi D diye hue. Answers mein Priya, Ankit, Sharanya, Rohit. And so many of you. Anveshita, Akhil, Garima, Apurva, Siddhar, Shruti, Amisha, Anushka, Archit. Sharanya, Rohit, Aman, Yogesh, Exnerve, Gora, wonderful you guys. Remember to keep a track of your score. At the end of the session, we do discuss what your score is. All right, which of the following is true according to the passage? Accept, again, true plus accept, yane ki jo false hoga, wo answer hoga. Always remember that. True plus accept is false, false plus accept is true. So that's what you need to remember. The minute you see true accept, try to look for the false answer. You and I declared this decade for ecosystem restoration. Ecosystem restoration encompasses a wide continuum of practices. Agro-ecosystem restoration aligns with the UN Sustainable Development Goals and SDGs focus on the well-being of Earth's more than 9 billion <coughs> people. Come on guys. All right, I started getting my answers. Chalo, fada fada batao. Main wait kar rahi hun. So, UN has declared this a decade for ecosystem restoration was mentioned and therefore cannot be my answer, right? Look at B. Ecosystem restoration encompasses a wide continuum of practice was also mentioned and therefore cannot be my answer. Agro-ecosystem restoration aligns with the UN Sustainable Development Goals was also mentioned in the passage. Cannot be my answer. SDGs focus on the well-being of Earth's more than 9 billion people. Here is a distortion and a very beautiful distortion. We don't have more than 9 billion people. Almost 9 billion people was what the passage had said. So, here is a very beautiful distortion, very tiny distortion. If you have picked up on it, you got it absolutely right. So, correct answer will be D here. I am seeing a lot of Ds here. So, good job you guys. Rishabh Modi has got it right. Very nice. Apurva, Yogesh, Shashank, Exner, Archit, Rohit, Sharanya, Garima. Shruti, Siddharth, Amisha, Akhil, Anveshita, 
All right, very good, you guys. All right, here's your next question. Which of the following can be the tone of the author? Where I see exotic pests and weeds, they see cute South American armadillos, cochineal cottony scale bugs on the cacti, and wispy plumes of dog fennel flowers. What are we saying? Is it acerbic? Is it reprimanding? Is it laudatory? Is it opinionated? one guys so where I see exotic pests and weeds they see cute South American armadillos cochineal cockatoo scale bugs on the cacti and the wispy plumes of dog fennel flowers let's get this in is it acerbic is it reprimanding is it laudatory is it opinionated so the author is essentially saying that I see irritating things where they show cuteness so they show cuteness so, apni opinion hi to de raha hai. Theek hai? So, not acerbic, not reprimanding, not laudatory. So, clearly opinionated. Writer is saying that, oh, I see these ugly little bugs which are going to disturb the environment. You are seeing these, oh, cutie, cutie things. So, yeah. So, that is writer's opinion about this thing. So, correct answer was D again. Today, I think is D day. Huh? All answers coming in D only. All right, your next question. What is the meaning of harrow? Harrow means to irritate, hurry, irrigation, or is it a piece of farm equipment? All right, Rishabh and Priya had got it right in the last question all right this is the final question of the day let's see if you can get this right what is the meaning of harrow chetan says it is d farm equipment let me see if i'm getting more people to say that 5d yes shruti also says that very good harrow is a piece of farm equipment it is a me metal equipment which is used to make the land smooth so they break up all the rocks and pieces of mud which have been clumped together, it breaks it up and makes the land very smooth and, and you know comfortable. So that's, that's a harrow, it's a piece of farm equipment. Hurry, of course, there is a word for hurry also and that is harry. It is not harrow, it is harry. Harry, harry means to hurry up, all right. Okay, guys. Uh, remember tonight we may, uh, tonight we may do the open house again please wait for the links i will put it out on the group but remember 3 pm we've got a special session from 3 to 3:30 for rcs 3:30 of course the gdpi batch starts today again so we are going to be talking about your introduction how to introduce yourself if you haven't yet enrolled in the gdpi course please do that will be a very a very helpful course for you guys and then today again at 6.30, we, we are, we, yesterday we started doing RC preview. I will continue with that today. So do make sure you're joining in for our second class of reading comprehension for the beginners. I hope you had found yesterday's session useful, how we previewed uh, an RC. We will continue on those lines even today. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I hope you have a nice day. Adios, mere amigos. Milte hai, teen baje, saade teen baje, saade chhe baje. Or shayad das baje, be with the open house. See you. Adios.